Hey guys, Josh with Working Man Reads. I am here filming a video that uh, I wasn't planning on filming, but I had some mail when I got home from work, and it is from my buddy Timmy at Lost Cunningham, so I'm going to link his channel down below. Um, I was going to film the Black Magpie review, but I will do that tomorrow, because I'm excited and I need to open this, so I'm going to do some book mail. So uh, Today I got my coffee though, because I need some coffee today, because work was crazy, but it's... I shall purchase a large sword and name it kindness and kill people with kindness. So, yeah, it was a gift from my wife. But I'm excited, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to do it off camera so I don't get anybody's address in there. But, okay. All right, we're in. Okay, there's two books. I did not know I was getting two books, Timmy. So I'm going to do the smaller one because I think that that's the one I was, I was getting right away. But... Uh, you're too nice, man. I, I feel like you gave me something else. But Heartfelt Flows and Misery by S.L. Kearns and Other Stories. The highs and lows are often the same. Same thing. Wow, this artwork is sick on the front. I hope that comes over. But I think uh, I think I won this in like a uh, a competition on, on, on Timmy's channel. So he ended up, I think he hooked up some other people. So I'm, I'm very appreciative for this. I'm going to read the uh, back synopsis for so this inaugural collection from S.L. Kearns presents unforgettable characters and a double-edged sword of success and failure wow that's ironic that I had a coffee mug with swords on characters who put their hearts and hopes on the line in pursuit of individual desires some seek fame while others seek peace some cave ven crave vengeance and others desire affection angel and weeper follows a failed Thai actress with a strange new business, nothing to be proud of, tells of a so-called war hero from Nam wanting only to place the horrors he witnessed behind him. Wow, that sounds deep. That actually sounds really good. In, the little, in this title story, the main character should be overjoyed with his major label deal, but singing on sorrows serves to remind him of lost love. Straight metal memories finds a victim of an arson and a stakeout in search of re rich retribution for the loss of his house and the memories it held. Don't miss these gripping tales and many more. Wow, this seems like actually really, really, really interesting, and I am excited to bust actually into this. This might be a, one of the books I read on my trip, so I'm excited. So check out S.L. Kearns. I'm sure you can get his work on... Uh, you know, Amazon and all that, those, I will uh, do a review for this when I actually, when I get around to it, I'll do it the, in the coming month, hopefully, so, let's see what else Timmy sent me, so, this, uh, when I got the package, I was like, it's a little heavy for a, uh, you know, because I kind of knew that the size of this book was going to be that, I was like, this is a little bit heavy, let's see, what do we got, oh, snap, I know he's a, he's a McCammon fan, he sent me a McCammon, I have not read McCammon yet. And I haven't read Boys. I'm actually really happy right now. <laughs> Dude, that's way, that's way too nice, man. I owe you one now. <laughs> I can't believe I got, like, real friends online, man. Thank you so much, Timmy. So he got me Gone South by Robert R. McCammon. And this looks like a hardcover, obviously. So, flooded by memories, poisoned by the deadly fallout of Agent Orange. Wow, that hit. So this is a nom thing. I see the connection now. And desperate for work, Dan Lambert kills a man in a moment of blind fear and fury. It is an act he cannot excuse, a mistake that will change his life forever. Now Dan is on the run, heading south toward the Louisiana bayous. On his trail are police officers and bounty hunters, including the most memorable and bizarre team ever paired in modern fiction. Elvis Easley an Elvis impersonator, that's awesome, of the worst kind, and a Flint Murtaugh, a fastidious, ruthless loner, and a freak show, refugee who carries the body of his uniform, unformed twin brother on his side. Wow, that's intense. Okay. As Dan heads down into the swampland in search of his own salvation, he meets a young woman who is in, in a, on an, a similar journey. Wow, can't read, man. Like Dan, Ardling Holiday bears a great burden, a disfiguring purple birthmark that blankets half her face. 
wounded by the stares, by the pity and revulsion. She is making her way into the bayous in search of, of the bright girl, a legendary faith healer who will rid her of the birthmark and her suffering. There's more on the back. Though the separate missions, uh, Arden and Dan, come to respect each other's quest for freedom, for a touch of simple kindness in the world grown cruel. Thrown together by circumstance, bound by loyalty and stranger love. Stranger than love, they set off in a journey of relentless suspense and impassionate discovery, uh, and honesty of dark, twisted roads and waterways into the beautiful, mysterious depths of human heart. Wow! That sounds freaking awesome! Critically acclaimed for boy's life. Snap. This looks like a, like a real... Let's see when this was published. First pocketbooks hardcover printing October twenty or nineteen ninety two. So it's be that is it's a first edition. Thank you, Timmy. Dude, you're sweet. That's really cool, man. I appreciate you. That's awesome. I'm gonna be get, I'm gonna have to start this. I finished a book today. I gotta start it right. So I'm gonna be starting this. Gone south. Busted. Busted this. I'm gonna about to bust into this tonight while I'm hanging with the daughter. That is super cool to me. I I really appreciate it. I almost got teary eyed, man, because I <laughs> in in uh, in my life, man, like um, you know, like personal friends that I've known my for a long time, we've grown dif distant, and um, you know, life goes on, and I have a family now. But I've made new friends online, and I appreciate you guys so. That's outrageous that you would send me something like that. Even to send me the other book, I was I was happy and excited for that. So you didn't have to do that to me. I appreciate you. I gotta try some McCammon now because I've heard that Boy's Life and some of his other novels are like the best of all time. So I gotta try them out. So, but if you made it this far, um, I appreciate you. In the next two two videos. Post some questions down below. I'm going to do a Q&A when I hit 100, um, 100 subscribers. I'd like to get like some questions from my friends and stuff and, and, and just get to know me better. And uh, that's what I'll do for my 100 subscriber that I never thought I would get to. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, Timmy. Dude, thank you so much.